I think the greatest <coughs> danger uh, to the resolution of the Eurozone crisis is a continuation of the pretense that it is solely a fiscal or budgetary crisis. And I appreciate that this is a popular narrative uh, in Germany. Uh, it may not be uh, adequately understood that had the Stability and Growth Pact rules been fully adhered to by everybody, and they were adhered to by most, uh, we would still have a crisis. And the reason is that it's a banking crisis. Uh, it has been, of course, uh, manifested and also exacerbated in, 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 in a, uh, inadequate budgetary policies in, in, in several countries. There will be no uh, proper monetary union until uh, there is a proper centralized policy to supervise and resolve banks. Uh, the the BAL pillars uh, for banking policy are three. Adequate capital, proper supervision, and market discipline. I appreciate how difficult this is. It's very hard for people to admit that they got it wrong, uh, but they did. Uh, the, the Eurozone design is flawed. Uh, and the flaw is not that the fiscal rules weren't tight enough, uh, although I don't think the, fiscal, the new fiscal treaty does any harm. Uh, if, if it's adhered to, that would be all to the good. Uh, the flaw in the Eurozone design is the absence of the necessary architecture of a proper monetary union. It's not a proper monetary union. It's just a currency union. And it's dynamically unstable, uh, with far too much responsibility delegated to the national central banks with no centralized supervision of uh, uh, the banking system and critically no centralized bank resolution regime to enforce uh, market discipline uh, on the banking system. Uh, there will be another crisis in due course uh, unless the Maastricht Treaty is revisited, unless the statutes of the European Central Bank are revisited, uh, I appreciate there's a limited political appetite to do all of this, uh, but until such time as those issues are addressed, we have handicapped ourselves with a halfway house currency union, or something like a multilateral currency board. That's all it is.